everyone. It is, do you believe it's almost a week since our workshop? I'm here, guess where I am? I'm at the Phileo Farmhouse. This is their dog, Nala. Say, say hi, say hello to everyone. Hello, hello. I wanted to say hi. I didn't do one post yet, but I uh, wanted to touch base with everyone and say hello and thank you and just share a few moments uh, with you. Uh, first, I, I got You know who I want to thank? I got to thank my mentor, Eric Mars. Um, he has just been flooded with love and support to this entire project. So, Eric, I love you as as always, and thank you so much for your love, your support, your your guidance, and and all. I have to thank the GMA Artist Center. You guys are great starting with Lily Beth for giving the go-ahead on this project with Simon and Gigi. Um, Jenny, you're, you're incredible and your team, Mel, Bong, Mark, you guys were fabulous and I hope to work with you again. And you know, I made a wonderful friend, Didek Mario. Mario, you're beautiful. Thank you for sharing, for attending my workshop, attending the workshop and sharing not only your wisdom, but your love and your heart and your such deep concern for the for your talent. It is, it is, we're friends and I, I cannot wait to spend more time with you. There's, of course, Loris and I am so grateful and humbled to come under, to be associated with your, with your school. Uh, you've been doing this, you've brought Eric in before I even know who he was and did so much in his name and such, such good, such great work in his name. And of course, there's my co-teacher, Anna Faleo. Anna, what do I say? What do I say other than um, you're phenomenal? Your vision, your support, and your love your everything is just, it touches my heart and I thank you. And we have, I think, quite a few workshops ahead of us. Yes? I think so. You know, as I'm thinking about these, this last week and I think about, you know, what do we do from here? How do we go forward? And I just wanted to take one moment and just talk about what I think is a prerequisite of going forward. Yes, we walk on the set now, huge and tall. We walk on the set and we're brave. Yes, yes, yes. But it all doesn't mean all that much if we simply do not set higher standards for ourselves. And I want to really impress upon that because without higher standards, the work drops. It drops into a hole, you know? It doesn't help you. And yes, the empowerment is vital and taking action on that is vital. But the standards got to go higher and higher. And not just career standards, but life standards. A career is useless if your life is not good. It's not healthy. It's not in alignment. Yes? So I'm hoping that this is uh, all of you think about that and you really start setting, setting higher standards. And, I thought about that for a while, you know, and I said to myself, what's a great example around here of people who've set higher standards? Well, there's quite a few examples of artists and just people in here that have set high standards, but one that sticks out is Larisse. Year 30, actually around 32 years ago, when I was basically a... Uh, a Broadway performer back back then, or an aspiring one, aspiring one, just dancing a lot and performing, singing, acting, dancing in musicals. Larisse was already an award-winning actor, and she and her husband Johnny Delgado, basically, and I don't speak for her, but how do we set new standards, higher standards, higher standards in our art? And they found Eric Morris across the other side of the planet. And at the first opportunity Larisse had, 
to go visit him, she did. And she brought him in. She managed to bring in, in my opinion, the best acting teacher on the planet here and to work with you. And that's, that's, that's humbling to me, you know. I was, it was easier for me. I, he was in New York, I was in New York. I was recommended to go see him. I went and that was it. It wasn't like that here. And so to be associated with the uh, Larisse Gillian Actor Studio in relationship to this, to GMA and this is very humbling to me. And, uh, and I have a lot of respect and reverence for that. And, uh, and that was just, that's, that's one chapter. And then, you know, when I was talking to Anna over and over, you know what I kept hearing throughout the months? She kept telling me the story. I kept, I was like, and every time she'd say it, it was, she'd say it over and over and over again. And every single time it was like, it was like a first time. And every time she'd say it, I'd be like, really? And I would react to it like the first time. And she talks about how when she was young, uh, 25 years ago, more or less, her parents would be holding these acting workshops and she was too young. The, Johnny and Larice didn't let her in. She was just a little kid. And you know what happens in the acting workshops, right? Little kids can't just come in. And But yet she would find, she'd peek through the curtains. And her and her sister, Ina, they'd peek through the curtains and they'd peek through the cracks, the little crevices, to try to get just a little something. And it piqued her curiosity, not just 25 years ago, but for life. Yes. And this work is nothing without a deep, deep curiosity for life. And that's what happened. As I met, when I met Anna a year and a half ago, I'm not even sure of the timing right now, but a, a while back, um, she said, you know, I come from the work and I've been doing, I've been teaching this work many years and this and that and lots of people have come to me saying that but when she came to me I said oh great that, that's nice but when I started working with her I said aha some really good training here and good work ethics great work work ethics great spirit you got yourself a gem here people you're working with her and it's um, a gift it's a real it's a special talent it's not just that she knows the work for a long time, but a spirit to help and heal and with a selfless ego is, is very special. So, so Anna, I salute you in your work that you're gonna be doing. I, I gather quite a bit of work you'll be doing in the near future. And you know what? I don't know about you, but I thought we rocked, all of us. You actors really lived with your heart on your sleeve you know you really jumped in you gave of, of who you are you let the world see you and that's the only way to grow you can't grow in in armor wow is it hot mama mia cannot grow in armor you can't it doesn't work that way right nala not see even nala says it says agrees with me and you guys are brave keep your standards high continue to be brave know that failure is part of success failure is not the um, it's not just about failure it's part people that succeed fail quite a few times quite a bit I say this funny thing I think it's funny when people think wow Anthony how'd you get to be whatever if they think it was successful you know what I, I know what I tell them? I tell them I ran out of failures. That's how, that's how I succeeded. So please live with your heart and with your truth. Never compromise your truth. Be brave with it. Let them see you because that's the on, only thing. That's the only thing that separates you from everyone else is you showing them your truth. Bye bye everyone. Oh, listen up following this video stay here another second because here's a few little glimpses of a few highlights bye bye bye
no more. Get on the floor, get a bar, still come back.